Um, my experience here at the Barla with both my children um, I think that expectations are really high from the onset as soon as they come in year seven um, based on their predicted grades from primary school um, high expectations but high targets and always always hear the staff at the Barlow push and push um, for the children to want to achieve that themselves not just that the staff expect it from them and um, lots of different opportunities to extend the curriculum to work beyond what they're doing in class big push in year 11 really gives those children the opportunity to aim as high as they possibly can get. Now from my experience with my daughter, even from year 9, she's already talking about sixth form colleges and universities and I think that's come from discussions here in class um, and the, the desire and the aspiration to achieve highly. Uh, firstly, no, it absolutely doesn't matter if they aren't Catholic. Every child here is equally valued. In terms of spirituality, the whole child is definitely developed here at the Barlow and it's a massive, massive strength in my opinion. Um, obvious ones are assemblies, worships, masses and everybody is involved in those but there's a huge strong sense of community and being aware that they've got a responsibility to play a huge part in the community and um, children's well-being and mental health is of utmost importance to all staff and you can tell that from a parent's point of view I know there's mindfulness Mondays and time to reflect on themselves as, as a person and their role within within the world the staff here at the Barlow value all children and SCND children, especially during transition period, it's really, really important. So I know they are given extra opportunities to have transition days and to come over to the Barlow and meet other children that are going to be with them. Um, and simple things like taking pictures of buildings, taking photographs of the key staff so that the children can recognise them and, and familiarise themselves with the school before they arrive. In terms of once they're here, um, the Hive is somewhere where these children can access on different levels if they need it at different times and that ranges from bespoke curriculums to just an opportunity to where they can come and take some time out, play some Lego therapy, lots of things that would have gone on maybe in primary school, they make sure that they're continued and I do know that SEND children just thrive here at the Barlow. There are 170 children in each year group with a being year 7 to 11 in the school. Many after school physical education uh, clubs such as netball, athletics, rugby, football. Also as well they do many clubs at lunchtime, um, there's homework clubs, English maths clubs which help the children and support them um, if they're struggling with the homework or some of the stuff that's set in each of the classes. Um, they also do music, at drama club, um, they have a chaplaincy team at the school as well as a gift team. The children choose the GCSE options towards the end of year eight and that means that they start them at the beginning of year nine, meaning that they focus for three years on the GCSE subjects. As well as the core subjects that they do, there's many other options that the children can choose from, such as photography, iMedia, music, PE, drama, engineering, business studies, just to name a few of the subjects that they can choose. Severian, Loretto, Trafford, Manchester, just to name a few of the colleges that are linked to the Barlow High School. Yes, the Barlow does liaise with Year 6 class teachers and they do try to take into consideration uh, friendship groups from primary school. So there's various forms of feedback at the Barlow. Um, for example, uh, tracking information is sent home um, once a term. Uh, there are reports, um, parents' evenings. There's a head teacher surgery. There's a parent hub. And also, the teachers are easy to contact via email. The teachers are very, very approachable if you have any concerns. Yeah, so it's not like a primary school where it's fixed between hot dinners or packed lunches. Children can choose whether they want to bring a packed lunch or whether they want to buy a hot dinner on a daily basis. And what's really good is that a parent pay system is used, which is a cashless system, and parents can um, access this online and it's quite easy and manageable. 
So to name a few, um, spa points where children um, have privileges, for example, they can have breakfast with the head teacher, um, prizes, certificates, assemblies, there's the Barlow Star, also reward trips as well.